Hello guys, welcome to Straight From The Horse's Mouth. My name's Chris Bowers. I've researched this information and I'll be reading that out for you today. So, this is the Jumps Racing edition of Straight From The Horse's Mouth. And uh, we're at Stratford. Uh, the other Jumps meeting was actually cancelled. So I took down some of the um, choices, unfortunately. But here we go. So the first one, Andapa. Um, it's the one o'clock Stratford, two miles, two and a half furlong, novice handicap hurdle, class five, the four-year-old splits rated zero to 100. Andapa has put in some great performances recently, and I think it would take more than a 10 pound rise delivered by the handicapper to stop her this time out. Last time she won a two mile hurdle race and a decent time by six and a half lengths jumping well. She was seven lengths clear at the last and was eased near the finish. She won the race before readily by three lengths. It was a two mile four furlong novice handicap hurdle. The trainers were up, said she had improved as her jumping had become more fluent. The BBC claims the weather is unlikely to cause a change of brain and none of the horses have won on the current good surface apart from Underpar, who has won it four times so far. Tom O'Brien is in the saddle again, having won on her the last two times out. Michael Roberts is a small trainer who appears to have just one horse. And if you could have one horse, then that's a pretty good one to have, really. Now, I was actually working on a price of 11 to 4 ish. Um, 11 to 4 was the Racing Post Guide price. And um, so I'm just trying to find my chalk. Yeah, it was the 11 to 4 guide price. Um, however, when the prices eventually came out, it was 2 to 1. So, shorter than I was expecting, and I apologise on behalf of bookmakers everywhere. And uh, the next one I'm going to look at is the 130 Stratford. Uh, two miles, one furlong, novice handicap chase, class four, four year old plus, rated zero to 120. Elio de Orr has the benefit of experience in this, having raced eight times over fences, winning twice. Both the wins were on good ground, and the ground is projected to be good for Thursday. He found a class three race, too hot to handle last time out, and will appreciate the drop back in class this time. Before the Geldinger's foray into Class 3 last time, he won comfortably at Worcester by 6.5 lengths in a decent time. He won easily the time before by 11 lengths in a good time. Robert Walford appears to just have one horse in training, and he runs on Thursday. So, the same as the other one. Um, Harry Cobden writes, um, he has a 24% win rate this GP season chasing. There's a horse in this race called Gimacho. Um He's a decent horse, but he's got no chase experience. And honestly, I'd rather see him um, have a run before I'm putting any money on him. I mean, when I say have a run, I mean over fences. And uh, who knows what the value of that jersey win is that he had. Yeah. So, so I was working on no guide price. And I was expecting probably Gimacho maybe to be the favourite or another one. I wasn't expecting Eliod de Orr to be the favourite. And I was horrified, people, when I saw five to four. Is the best price available. Again, I apologise on behalf of bookmakers everywhere. But I did not I couldn't see the prices when I was working out the horses, so I do apologise. So the next one is a 205 Stratford, two miles six furlongs, novice hurdle, class three, the four year olds plus. Now, Ultimate Getaway has remained unpunished by the handicapper for his 23 length victory last time out. He will, however, carry a £10 penalty for his two wins over hurdles in this race. Uh, Liam Harrison uh, claims £5 and has a 26% win rate this GB jump season as a handy claimer to have on board. He won an Ultimate Getaway last time out and has won them twice now. The distance and ground won't be a problem for the horse as his last two wins are on good and good to firm over two miles four furlongs and two miles five and a half furlongs respectively. Fergal O'Bring has a 28% win rate over hurdles this GB jump season with 29 wins from 103 runs. He is in good form with three from six over all horses in the last 14 days. So it's another one. I was working on the guide price for Lambda 4 and they didn't slam it so badly this time. Um, so price is five to two. And that's with Bet365. So, just to recap, so, I'm sure I've got the right bit of paper. Yes, all these prices are available at the time the video has been released with Bet365. I was expecting them all to be higher. Um, I wasn't expecting 
that one to actually be the favourite. <laughs> and uh, I was working to lemon to four off of that. But a winner's a winner, and I will stop grumbling now about value because at the end of the day, the bookies are a business like any other, and a winner's a winner. So I don't know whether you just want to pick out the best one, whether you want to do all three, whether you want to do it in a treble, maybe a Trixie floats your boat, you know? But they're certainly not each way prices under any way, shape or form. Now, these are my choices in the race. It's, um, if you've got a stronger argument for one of your horses, which you've chosen, then do that one instead. Do the horse that makes you happy. Okay, so this was the jumps edition of Straight From The Horse's Mouth. Um, there'll be more jumps uh, race in action, which I'll be sorting out tomorrow. And uh, if you liked um, this video, then please press like. If you dislike the video, then press dislike. Um, I'd really love it if you subscribed, and it really helps motivate me. And uh, it means that my tips will appear in your feed to hopefully win you some money. So, thanks very much for watching me, and take care. Good luck, guys. Very responsibly.